Shout out to the KJ fam and you're rocking with Kristen and Jamil. We're back, you guys, for another mukbang. Woo! But not just any mukbang. What? You guys, we wanted to try a local place today. So we went to this place called Down to Earth Cafe and Deli. It's located in Katati, California. We've never been here before, but we heard they have great food. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to check this place out today. We just got like a few of their items and it looks so good. We have a mac and cheese with some chicken tenders in it. Yes. We have their version of a poutine. It's a slow braised short ribs uh, over uh, some french fries. It has some blue cheese crumbles mm -hmm. um, and there's like a little like demi sauce that you pour over. Yep. Don't get mad at us, by the way, Canada, if it doesn't look good. It's not our fault. It's different. It's not like your regular poutine. <laughs> That's right. And then we have a pulled pork sundae, they call it. So it's mashed potatoes over pulled pork with some slaw and barbecue sauce and crispy onions. We're ready. Kristen is ready to get it in, okay. just like I am. Okay. I know. Kristen hasn't eaten literally a single thing all day. It is. <laughs> I've, been, I've been going in. <laughs> yeah. It's 6, it's 6 6.55 p.m. I did sleep in, but... Yeah. But you literally have had a cup of coffee. That's it. Yeah. So... And you're hiding the hot sauce, and it's really upsetting me right now. Jamil was it's like... It's not hidden. It's on my side. Jamil's all sampling as he's getting oh, yeah. the food ready. I sampled all of this. It's amazing. Can okay, I... what do you want? Please have the sriracha. Sriracha? Thank you. <laughs> You're all set now. Okay, <laughs> so before we eat, you guys, I, I got to tell you a story. Do you want it over too? Huh? Is that okay? That's fine, yeah. Okay, I figured you. Okay. You messed up my joke. I don't have a story to tell. Oh. We eat. Oh, <laughs> you wanted... Oh, I see what you're saying. You wanted me to wait? I wanted you to wait, but it's not happening. <laughs> all right, let's try the mac and cheese first. Oh. Um, now, it's interesting because this place is... I, I want to say it's kind of new, right? It's maybe been around for... It's like a cheese. I'm okay. Listen, I know I say I make up stuff, sure, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure based off of what I've seen, uh -huh. no more than a year, no more than a year. I'm almost positive. I'm sure it's been around longer than a okay, year. Okay, we're gonna double check it just a little bit after we take a bite. Okay. I think it's been a year because I never noticed it, and then it just popped up one day. Mm -hmm. I think it's been a year. I'm about to take this bite, and Here I just want to say Jamil's already <laughs> sampled all of this, so yes, you're I not have. gonna get an authentic reaction. Oh, you will. It's gonna be the same. <laughs> Here we go. Mac and cheese with chicken tenders. Chicken tenders. Mmm. That was my reaction. Mmm. You guys, this is legit. They have the um, shell pasta in there. Mm-hmm. Um, the tenders are incredible. They actually really are. Very good. They they also use uh, Parmesan cheese on top. Actually, a good amount of it, I think, which... Kind of gives it an extra flavor. There's some. There was some Parmesan on top. You didn't see it when I blended it. When you that ate was there. It. When you ate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just kidding. I like that they put a lot of tenders on here too. Mm -hmm. mm. They hook it up. Mm. Yeah. And there's some bread. Looks like some fried. Some breadcrumbs. What is that? It's breadcrumbs. Yeah, the breadcrumbs. Mm. We paid extra for the tenders on top. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you the price point. And it was just located in downtown Katadi. Yes. Very local, very good. And I'm telling you, they've only been around for less than a year. Maybe maybe no. a little more than a year. If they've been around for two years... Why are you just guessing? Then No, I'm not just guessing. It's based off of what I've seen, and I've never seen them before. But maybe I just never noticed it, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? But I looked before for like good food in downtown Katadi, and I couldn't... I mean, I found some stuff, mm -hmm. but if I had known this place was here, we would have been gone there. We did know it was here. Well, but for the last year. Oh. Right? Now, maybe because we weren't doing the Food Channel two years ago. We, I mean, sorry, we've only been doing it for two years. Mm -hmm. So maybe before then I just didn't really pay attention. Mm -hmm. But They don't say it on their website, so I'm not sure. What? How long it's been around for. I'm going to check it out. Um, this is okay. about 10 bucks, give or take a little bit, depending on what you add to it. I want to mm -hmm. say the chicken tenders was like 2 bucks, and this was like 7 or 8 Cool. What would you give it, a 7 or 8 you said? No. Oh, you're just saying, so, okay, got it. The price point. What are you giving this out of 10? It's good. It's a nine. Yeah. It's very good. Honestly, some of the best mac and cheese for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's go in on this uh, poutine thing. You ready? I'm very ready. I'm going to drizzle a little bit out over that on top. Not sure exactly what this is. It's exactly. like a demi glaze, they said, or like a demi something. Is that the word they use? Demi? Or is that your word? It's the, I wouldn't make up that word. Uh, you might. <laughs> you have before. It's, um... What is it? Fries topped with a slow braised short rib, uh, point-raised blue cheese, and Cabernet demi-sauce. Cool. 
Jamil doesn't. He's not even listening. Listen. Yeah. Give me sauce. <laughs> and I don't like blue cheese, but I do. I'm okay to eat it in like little bits. Um, there's a lot in here. I see it, but I'm trying to avoid the big clumps. Good. I, I'm not. Yeah. Well, you'll see what I'm talking about. Mm. I hate blue cheese. Mm. So, if you can't stand blue cheese at all, you definitely won't want to get this because it's all through here. Although there's a lot of clumps, it's still mixed in well enough where you're going to get it. I might just have to have the rib by itself. The rib by itself? Yeah, do it. I, uh, you know, once again, I'm not like a fan of blue cheese, but I don't hate it. I can eat it, you know? Mm. The short braised rib just falls off. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Very good, though. Mm. The ribs are on point. The fries are very good, too. The fries are very good. We should have said no blue cheese. Yeah, it's okay. It's nice anyways because this is exactly how it comes. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to try it exactly how it, you know, and give an authentic review based off of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. um, maybe not, you know, with the blue cheese, maybe not my favorite thing, but it's still very good and, and really good quality. High quality, for Without sure. Without the, not including the blue cheese, I'd give this overall like an eight, eight and a half. Mm -hmm. But the blue cheese may obviously brings it down for me, but. Sure. It's only because it's not my liking, but this is very good. Mm -hmm. I, still, I don't know if I'd call it poutine. It's definitely a spin on it. Yeah. But it's good. Yeah, I know for sure. Mm -hmm. I remember when we were calling around for poutine, when we, we did a video uh, just eating poutine a while back. I remember calling them and they were telling us about this, but mm -hmm. we didn't get it obviously because it's, it's clearly not poutine. But honestly, it's really good. Mm -hmm. What do you give it? Um... I'm going to include the blue cheese. I'm still going to give it an 8. Because although the blue cheese isn't necessarily my favorite, if you like blue cheese, you're going to love this. Because it's very good. Mm -hmm. It is really good. I think, you know, maybe maybe if it didn't have it up there, maybe it would be like a 9 or something. But it's it's really good. And I love that they use a local cheese. It's Point Reyes blue cheese. Point Reyes is near here. Oh, that's cool. So that's nice that they use like local ingredients to make their food. Mm -hmm. So shout out to... Down to Earth Cafe. Mm -hmm. If anybody's in Sonoma County, it's the, yeah, it's definitely worth trying. So far, these are great. Honestly, they're really good. Okay, I'm digging into this pulled pork sundae. Cool. Base of mashed potatoes, pulled pork, mm -hmm. slaw, barbecue sauce. Let's do it. Oh, I'm so excited. Cool. Sorry to take forever to get this bite. It's okay. Okay. I get it. You're hungry. Yeah, you, I'm want, you want the perfect bite. So hungry. <laughs> I do want the perfect bite. Are you ready? I am ready. One, two, three. Very good. There's a lot going on in this, and it's all amazing. Mm. Don't you agree? I do. <laughs> I really do. Mm, I like their pulled pork. Mm-hmm. Mm. The mashed potatoes are, are good too here. Mm -hmm. This is very good. Mm. I get a little crunch of the coleslaw, but I can't taste it, so I can't tell 100% if the coleslaw... I mean, it must be good because it's not like nothing standing out is bad. Mm. But the barbecue sauce with the, with the pulled pork... Mm. It's so good. And the mashed potatoes, it's very, very good. I love their slaw. It's a little sweet. I can taste it. Mm -hmm. I really like it. It pairs oh, yeah. very well. It is a little sweet. Mm. Okay. I think out of the three things, mm -hmm. this might be my favorite. It's really good. I mean, you know, the mac and cheese is more of a side, of course. Mm -hmm. But uh, the pulled pork sundae is actually an entree. That is really good. That actually is really good. This might be my favorite out of the three. Awesome. What do you think? Mm. Yeah, I really like it. Well, I think the mac and cheese and both are pretty tied That's for so me. so good, though. But I'm very happy. Mm-hmm. I like that they gave us a lot of mac and cheese, too. They hooked us up. They gave us this massive container of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, Which okay. is good. Okay. So what do you think? I'm not hangry anymore. Are you okay now? It's rough. You're no longer irritated? You guys, recording these videos is so hard to time your hunger. <laughs> it is. It is challenging. I think the way to go 
and this is what I did, I just eat a little bit. Mm-hmm. Eat a little bit so you're not like starving. Mm-hmm. And then that way, you know, when it's time to eat, you know, you can still eat, but you're not, you know, you're not hangry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. Mm. I tried to make you some food earlier, but you said no. Remember? Well, I didn't want to be full. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. I feel you. It's how to work out for you. Bad. <laughs> you have to have really small snacks. I should have had some, like, almonds or something, yeah. like, super small. Mm-hmm. You know? We have plenty of stuff, yeah. Go try some. But that's okay. You know what? This was worth the wait. It was. And... We're yeah. leaving soon, you know, um, obviously moving, so yeah. it's nice to do some local stuff before we go. Yeah, yeah, you know, we've done quite a few local places, mm-hmm. but we haven't really done, in a while, we haven't done any local places because we started doing a little more challenges, so we were doing a lot of like fast food stuff and things like that, mm-hmm. so it's nice to be able to try out some more local places, you mm-hmm. know, we'll probably try a few more too before we head out. I agree. You know? I have a couple in mind that I want to do. Oh, do you? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Well, let me ask you this. Um, well, first off, what would you rate that? Mm. It's another nine. Nine, nine and a half. Nine, nine and a half? Mm-hmm. Me too. I'd give that a nine and a half. It's very good. Mm-hmm. Um, on Yelp, I think this place got 4.7, right? You know, they, it's like four and a half, but... Oh, it was on, no, on the DoorDash app. Oh, it was, it was DoorDash. Like 4.7. Oh, got it, got it. Okay, so it's four. Is that on Yelp? Uh, on Yelp, it's four and a half. Is it? Uh-huh. Nice. It's four and a half. Uh-huh. Well, question is, is this actually four and a half? Are you trying to say it's not? I'm trying to say, what do you think? <laughs> um, I'm looking to just make sure on Yelp. Mm-hmm. Oh, it does have four and a half. Mm-hmm. Is it four and a half? It's good. <laughs> Sure. I mean, you know, I think some people rate things on, like, customer service, and I have sure. a feeling their customer service is probably pretty good, too. I'm pretty sure it is. Excuse me. I would give this five. You would? This is a five-star place for sure. Oh, wow. It is I don't, I don't think the complaint that you can ever say about this place is the food. I'm sure if we tried other things, we'd feel exactly the same. Uh-huh. So, for it to be, like, a half, that's just people nitpicking. Mm-hmm. This is a five star place for mm-hmm. sure. This, you know, because sometimes you don't, sometimes places aren't really true five star. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Or true four and a half. Mm-hmm. This is. This is. Mm-hmm. So. And this is our style. It's like very good comfort food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it is. It really is. Ah. Uh. So you guys, we were talking, and we're thinking because right now we do, you know, we do a lot of fast food stuff. But once we make it out to Vegas, we are going to probably, we still done a little bit on the fast food stuff, I, obviously. We want to do more local spots, you know? I'm going to say right? we are, I really want to slow down on the, fa- yes, like, yeah. well, if you're in Vegas, we need to be going to, like, the restaurants, a thousand percent local restaurants. There's so, too many to count. We are going to stay away from fast food. No, yeah. not, like, 24-7, like, yeah. you know. For I sure. like White Castle, and I'm sure there might be some, <laughs> like, some... Fast food places. New items that come out, but we're definitely not going to try every new item that comes out in every place. There's just, yeah, no. I don't, yeah. I want to stare away from that. It's true, because they do actually have fast food places like Raising Cane's, which we did like, and we'll want to probably go places like that, you know, from time to time. But I, I definitely I definitely see, you know, we're, we're probably just not going to do it as much. Like, we're just going to change it up a lot, you know? Mm-hmm. I think that's kind of something we briefly talked about mm-hmm. and I'm sure as we go there it's gonna probably just work itself out like that mm-hmm. because you guys there's just so many places out there yeah there are it'll be crazy to just give yourself just a fast food only you know? oh, that'll be so sad I know right how do you feel about not doing fast food as much when we go down there I'm very happy with it me too I'm very happy with it. <laughs> For sure. You know, the good thing about fast food, like, it's, you know, I mean, it's in the name. It's fast. Mm-hmm. It's convenient. It's consistent. Mm-hmm. You know what you're getting. It tastes good. All that stuff. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's just, it's, you want to try just different things, you know? Yeah. You want to try out different foods and stuff like that. Like, eating here, you know, it's so nice because it's just, the quality is on a whole nother level. Mm-hmm. It's, it's an incredible food. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just worth it, you know? Mm-hmm. And fast food isn't cheap anymore. You know what I mean? Like, that's the crazy thing, yeah, too. Yeah, it's not even really... Like, it's well, it's, it's, it's not as menu. cheap. 
Yeah, sure. The dollar menu. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But if you get like... If you're trying to like feed three people... Mm -hmm. Like three people... Well, I don't know if three people could have had this. No, I could have. Okay, three people could have had this. Hands down. Yeah, if you got a meal from wherever, three people, mm -hmm. a three-person meal... Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say it's going to be as as expensive, but it could be close, uh -huh. you know? Wouldn't you agree? The price would be about the same. For fast food? Yeah. As as how much we spent for this? No, this was a little more than what fast food costs. But you would have... it be close, though? Maybe within about $10, $20, dollars range, would you say? Mm. Maybe not. No, <laughs> I wouldn't say this was overpriced at all. However, I do know that these two were a little more. Okay, sure. Yeah, maybe within like 20, 25 20. bucks. Sure. Yeah. And then that's what you have to factor in when you go to restaurants too, like the mm -hmm. quality and I'm totally down to pay more for something that's yeah. better. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I like this home cooked meal vibe here. This is really good. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Honestly, this is like mm. Costco level. I don't know. I, I mean, this might be better than Costco. Mm -hmm. It probably is. Mm -hmm. That's how good this is. And I think highly of Costco mac and cheese. I for love sure. the Costco mac and cheese. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Um, so good. I'm glad you like it. I'm full. Are you full? Mm -hmm. <laughs> good. It's like, it was a lot of carbs in this one, but very yummy. Also a lot of meat. Yeah, for sure. But, you know, this is a really good one. So how do you feel about when we go to Vegas, doing yeah. a little less fast food stuff? I'm just, yeah, 100%. I really want to do a mixture of like local restaurants in Vegas, but also some strip stuff too. So to give like a good mixture of like... People who want to visit, but also do think people who want to visit, and if yeah. they want to like stay on the strip and visit, mm -hmm. or if they want to go like more local, you know, because a lot of people like to do that when they go places, like mm -hmm. right. You talk to like so many people who go on vacation anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. They're always like, "Don't take me to the tourist spots. I want to go local." Like more hella local. people like yeah. that, yeah. Yeah. I like a good mixture of both when I go on vacation, so I want to yeah. do both. I want to do some strip stuff. I want to do local. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd really highlight, like, what Vegas has to offer, you know? It really depends on the type of Vegas person you are, right? Because some people are vacationer, I should say. Because a lot of people mm -hmm. like to just stay on the strip. Mm -hmm. I got a friend that he would never want to go off the strip. No. That's all he wants to do is stay on the strip, yep. party, hang out. Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't care about the food, really. He's just no. like, I'm just here to chill. Yeah. But, you know, other people, that's what they want to do. They want to go to the best spots in Vegas yeah. and go off the strip. Yeah. And that's, I think, something we can really create on our channel mm -hmm. are some really good spots off the strip yeah you know i agree yeah i yeah. think that'll be kind of nice to do yeah i think that'll be fun because like you know i think mm -hmm. yeah vegas is just very versatile and obviously the food they offer but where the where the locations are too like strip food has probably also best of the best mm -hmm. but off strip has best of the best too and then same with on strip you have really like some poopy foods, depending on, like, <laughs> where you go on strip, too. Like, there's some that are just, like, whatever. Mm -hmm. Same off, right? So, anyways, I don't. I think we just want to focus on, like, good quality and, you know, really highlight restaurants when we're there. And I yeah. hope that we can record a lot more indoors. I know. That'd I be know. so nice. That'd be the plan. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll see what happens with that, because I know a lot of people do want us to do that. Yeah, so here's the deal. I have to say with the indoor, you guys. So, mm -hmm. a lot of you guys really like the indoor but we also get a lot of complaints about the indoor videos, and I just want to get your idea because here's the deal. So if you have a loud music... Oh, did you say here's the deal? You say here's the thing. Oh. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I was like, Listen, yeah. Nobody's trying to copy you, okay? Listen, I was going to say copy. I was going to say I'm influencing. <laughs> you got here's the from me. <laughs> yeah, I got the So here's the deal. So a lot of like indoor restaurants, they have... Yeah. Um, you know, music, and we've talked about this, you know, a lot of music playing in the background. Mm -hmm. We cannot keep that music in the background and put them on our videos because we get flagged. You mm -hmm. get uh, copyrighted mm -hmm. um, on YouTube and Facebook and stuff. So that's not a good thing. So anyways, we have to put music over the music. And some people complain saying that the music we put over the music is too loud, too distracting. Yeah. You can't hear us as well. So it really is a struggle, and I totally get it. Yeah. And we can't necessarily help it. Mm -hmm. um, we might be able to get better mics so yeah. you guys can hear our voices easier. But we're going to have background noise. And some people just hate background music. Even if, like on our mm -hmm. uh, snack videos we do. Yeah. We just put a little background music in the back, but some people hate it. So mm -hmm. I guess the point is we can't please everybody, but I want to know, like, does it distract you? I'm curious mm -hmm. to put some music in the background. Yeah. Um, yeah, actually, I, that's I'd a like good question. To, I'd like to get your feedback on that. Yeah. 
Because if, if the majority of people say no, it's okay. Like, I'm used to it. A lot of people do it. As long as we can hear you. even yeah. if it, Then I think we should go for it and try that a lot more. Yeah. But if we get the majority of people that are like, I just can't stand noise. It's distracting from your voice. Yeah. Then we really are going to have to try to pick places that have super low music. Sure. We might have to ask them to turn it off. But, like, we're, you know, we're really not those... Or not. No, no, no. That's specifically what we're going to do. I mean, <coughs> we're not going to go on and be like, hey, turn the music down. Mm -hmm. But I think what we could do, and I think this is a smart thing, is we want to go into some local places and literally, um, you know, intentionally connect with them and try to promote their restaurant. And by going in there, maybe we can ask them, like, hey, is there a time to come through to your restaurant where we can eat inside? Mm -hmm. Maybe where it's not super busy or something like that. Where the music, we can raise it down, make it a little lower. And maybe less people in there so we can really have like an actual, you know, conversation too. So, and if there is a time, <laughs> if there is a time that does work, well then we'll ask them to, yeah, to keep the music down if they can at that point in time. I think that's, that's perfectly fine to ask. Yeah, you know? we'll set those up too. But yeah, we're going to set a lot of those up. <laughs> at least, at least that's what I tell myself in my mind. <laughs> I know. Because like, I really want to do that. No, we do want to call ahead. The yeah. ones that, yeah, the mm -hmm. um, restaurants that we highlight, Yeah, we can ask, you know, but we're not going to be able to ask every restaurant, especially ones on the strip. They're every gonna be restaurant. Like, we're going to kick the door down and be like, turn this down. Turn it down. <laughs> especially strip restaurants. They're going to be like, who are you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, well, we have 15,000 people on YouTube. I know. You know, 100,000 plus on Facebook, though. Yeah, you know? right. You know, Which is but... amazing, and we're super grateful, and it's big. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, but also... Yeah, we got to be bigger than that, though. You might have to be... You have to have millions. You might have to have an extra zero <laughs> or two on the, you know, to be able to kick the door down and tell them to turn the music down. <laughs> kick the door. <laughs> <laughs> which we will get there eventually with the numbers so yeah yeah that's true <clears throat> excuse me mm -hmm. so yeah i want to do i definitely want to do um the restaurants so mm -hmm. we'll try to record in there mm -hmm. but <clears throat> i do have a question about the music on the videos you guys mm -hmm. Right now, right? We're just talking, not, you know, just hanging out or whatever. Mm -hmm. We rarely ever put music when we're just doing these type of videos, right? Mm -hmm. The music that we, we usually use is during the snacks video, like Kristen was saying, and maybe like some vlogs and stuff like that. Outside of the vlogs, because a lot of times with B-roll, when you're having just no talking and it's just like footage, you have to have music over that. Mm -hmm. But how do you guys feel about music over just like videos like this or our, our snack videos? Do you guys like that? Do you want us to add it? Do you want us to try it? I mean, I could turn it down what's really low, mm -hmm. but I, you know, obviously, I'm not gonna put like some like techno music on there or something. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Anything yes, going yes. crazy? <laughs> what do you? How come? Do you feel like? Mm -hmm. Do you want to add? Are you thinking I, about adding music to just regular videos? I, I guess so. Thing? Yeah, I guess I'm curious because would that do better? I have no idea. I have no idea. Or are you just asking a question? I'm just asking a question. question. Okay, I want to see what so. the fam thinks. Oh uh, yeah. I like to get. I, we love to get you guys' opinion because yeah. even. Even though sometimes we're not able to implement certain ideas <coughs> that you guys have, Excuse me. sometimes we are able to implement them. And, and if sure. we hear the stuff enough times, then we definitely will add them. So yeah. if enough people are saying like, yeah, you should, you know, add some music, well, then maybe we'll test them out and see what mm -hmm. people actually think, you know, once totally. it gets added. Totally. You know what I mean? I can beatbox, record it, and then just have it over that. You I'll know sing. I mean? <laughs> the Little Mermaid. Over and over again. And we probably won't get Acapella. copyrighted. We won't get copyrighted because they won't recognize the notes. Because <laughs> like, I'll song. be off key. <laughs> we'll have the actual producer come in, listen to it. They'll be like, that's not my song. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the, exactly. She's singing something different. <laughs> no, but, uh, but I'm just curious. I'm just curious because, you know, I I don't know. I'm torn, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll, I'll watch videos. Mm hmm. And, you know, that are kind of long form like this with mm -hmm. low, no editing really. Mm -hmm. And they'll have music mm -hmm. and I'm kind of like, oh, that sounds pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, you see other people, you know, other mukbangers and things like that who don't have any music and mm -hmm. that's fine too. Mm -hmm. So I'm just curious. Totally. What do you think? Do you think it needs music? Um, I don't know if it needs it. Yeah. I do think it can add more like production value. Yeah. And I also think if we had music from the beginning, this conversation wouldn't like be an issue because people would just be used to it. You know, I think change is just hard in general for mm -hmm. us and, you know, sometimes our viewers. So, it's good to get your feedback on this, you guys. We appreciate that. That's true. So, we'll see. We'll figure it out. But, yeah, I do think music in the background actually does add to production of the mm -hmm. videos. Mm -hmm. 
That's my two cents. That's true. But also we take a risk of putting music in the background too because you can get non-copyrighted music and put it in videos mm. and then it becomes copyrighted later. So like that's a risk. That's the worst. So I probably don't want to put music in every video for that purpose. You know? That's the worst, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's happened to us, hasn't it? Yeah, it has happened to us. Jamal Some... bought a song. Like he purchased it. Purchased it. Um, but I used it twice. Now, I don't know if that made a difference. No, you bought it. I don't think it should have. Yeah. Well, there's different ways to buy it. There's Mm. buying a license to it, and then buying it exclusively. Mm -hmm. Exclusively is like hundreds of dollars, you know? But if you buy it. But the license is only like 15 bucks or something like that, nine bucks or something like that. Oh, you might have bought it for just one video. I, I read the info, it didn't say anything about. One video. Oh. It just says, when you use a song, it's not a problem. Mm. But apparently, I used it twice, and it was a problem. So Mm. I don't know. I don't know what the deal was. But with music, you guys, it is a little tricky with YouTube. You know, that's why I think a lot of YouTubers don't use music because, Mm. or if they do, they use the same songs. Mm. They use the same, you know, instrumentals and stuff like that. And it's because, you know, the last thing you want is to put your video up that after you've worked on it for like... Hours and hours and hours, mm-hmm. just for YouTube to say, "Sorry, you can't, you can't use that, that song." That sucks. That's the worst. Or even worse, like we watch a YouTube channel that mm-hmm. um, they they do they do travel and stuff like that, right? Mm-hmm. And um, we talked to them about it before. Their names are Kara and Nate. By the way, check them out. Best channel. They're really good travel Best channel. Travel channel. Absolutely, Kara and Nate. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so they recorded a video, mm-hmm. um, and they used an artist. They reached out to an artist. Mm-hmm used his song, Mm -hmm. and that's kind of what you were talking about. Yep. Used the song. Years later, he gets signed by a label. The label's like, uh, take that song out of that, you know, YouTube channel. Well, essentially what they do is they just, they have a a way of, like, taking the music off of, like, all stations and stuff like that. I don't know. They flag it, but they pull the song. So now when you watch their (laughs) video, it's just a gap. There's no music there. It's just nothing. No sound. It's just a video. And that's like the worst. A silent video. It's a silent video, yeah. Because they did some type of, yeah. Because they take the whole audio out. Yeah. They don't take, they can't just take the song. Not just the song. It's your audio talking with the song in the background. Yeah. So you can hear them Uh or you can see them talking, but yeah. And no one's going to watch that video. No. That video's (laughs) done so. It's done. That's actually very true, yeah. Yeah. So we'll have to figure it out. Um, Yeah. Mm -hmm. But regardless, if we do decide to do music in the background on like restaurants and stuff, let's get those lapel mics. Mm-hmm. So our, our voices are super close up. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll get that because I think that'll help. I was thinking about just grabbing regular mics. <gasps> that would be fun. You can't do hey, that fair. while we're eating though. <laughs> 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 That'd be fun. I'd love to hold a mic. That sounds fun. <clears throat> well, we can have one of those headset ones where it comes around like that. Yeah. Oh. No. The pilot ones we're with not... the big muffle. No. <laughs> Or the call center ones. <laughs> I was thinking like Tony Robbins, you know? No, we're not or, Tony Robbins. Or Dave Ramsey. Or Dave Ramsey. He has that. He oh, has when that. he does the conferences? Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> you know what, you guys? Tell us if you want that. Do you guys want us to have the... the <laughs> what are they? The, the pilot ones where there's two headphones <laughs> and the mic comes around? Would that be better? Check one, two, one, two. This is Mukbang. <laughs> exactly. Mukbang number four. Okay. I know, right? That'd be funny. <laughs> so, anyways, who knows? Yeah. All right, fam. Well, 